with a Chiefs puppet on her right hand and the opposing team puppet on the left. And the two teams duke it out puppet style. And now Chiefs super fan Janelle Cabarjo is in the NFL Hall of Fans and she's joining us today on Better Kansas City. Fresh back from Miami and, and, and a big whirlwind trip for you. First off, let's start at the beginning. When did you become a Chiefs fan and how did you get started with the, with the fighting puppets? Well, I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life, okay. and uh, the fighting puppets <laughs> were kind of um, just a novelty. That yeah. I got a white elephant gift. It was a Sylvester Stallone uh, puppet, and my husband and I were just, we had a mini helmet, and we put it on there and started messing around, just taking one of them to the game to keep, yeah. keep our daughter occupied, <laughs> and it, then eventually we acquired another one, and now look at me. <laughs> it just kind of grew from there. We got a picture of you up there at one of the games and h how famous has this this gotten you? Well for being a season ticket holder for 31 years um, somebody from the NFL recognized me and thought that I might want to um, fill out the form to become a Ford Hall of Fan mm -hmm. and I did and I got to be one of the top six and then I had people have to vote on me and yeah Kansas City fans are wonderful and thank you very much for voting me in I made it to the top three and then I got the uh, knock on the door from David Baker and <laughs> um, I get to go to Canton Ohio yeah Wow, how exciting is that? Well, let's talk about the trip down to uh, down to Miami. How was that going down there for the big game and then seeing our Chiefs, your, who you've been a lifelong fan of, win it all, and especially in that dramatic fashion? How, how high did your blood pressure get? Oh, I was screaming my <laughs> head off. In fact, my voice is still pretty well shot, yeah. <laughs> but it was amazing. My gosh, I can't even describe the the wonderful time that we had and mm -hmm. just the fact that the Chiefs just – came from behind in their fashion and yeah. kind of, you know, it was just amazing. What did the San Francisco fans think about your your get up here? Did they have any choice words for you or anything that you can share on TV? <laughs> well, they didn't think too much about it, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm, in fact, at one point, this helmet even fell off and yeah. it's like, okay, well. Well, we have some video here of, I think this is you being nominated. Is that is that correct here, Dante? All right, well, it, it'll be on here in just a second, but this is you getting nominated. What was it like when you found out that you were, like, the overall winner? Because I think we had talked with you on some of our news programs about being a finalist and then being voted for a finalist, but then being the overall winner. Well, I there there were two other fans yeah. that went as well, and so they're going to be also get okay. a case in Canton, Ohio. But they, um, you know, it was... I was just overwhelmed yeah. because I didn't know that, that they were going to knock on my door. And then when they actually did, um, it was, I couldn't contain myself. And how crazy is it that just something you did to keep your daughter busy has grown into this and now it's, it's putting you in the football hall of fame or the, the fans hall of fame. I know it's amazing. I can't believe that, that I think longevity has yeah. a lot to do with it and it's going to be, it means, a, it means an awful lot that these little guys are going to be in the museum and Canton yeah. at the Hall of Fame, and it's just, oh, I'm so appreciative. So how many years then have you guys been season ticket holders? Uh, 31. 31, yes. so you're going to be in the seats here uh, next season as, oh, yeah. as the Chiefs get out and defend that, that world championship crown, right? For sure. So if these guys are going to the Hall of Fame, do you have to get new ones? Well, I'm going to have to, yeah, I'll probably have to get it. I've got an extra uh, <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs helmet, and okay. whoever we play, I'll have to get another one all but right I'm, i can do that well cool <laughs> well, it's been so fun to chat with you this morning now congratulations on all your success and being in the i get to, I get to talk to a hall of famer today it's not oh, every day gosh. you get to talk to a hall of famer appreciate you being here thank you so much thank and you and you guys are pretty knockout yourself